வெல்கம் டு தி என்பிடல் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் தியரி ஆஃப் ஃபயர் ப்ராபிகேஷன் பேசிக்கலி இன் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் ஃபயர் டைனமிக்ஸ் வில் பி கவர்ட் ஸோ இன் எனி ஃபயர் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வை இட் ஹஸ் ஹேப்பன் ஹவு டு கண்ட்ரோல் தட் எக்ஸெட்ரா வி நீட் information or knowledge about how the fire can be initiated how it grows and how it can be controlled so this will be covered in this particular course the name fire dynamics suggests that for initiation of the fire the properties and controlling aspects which are present is primarily important continuum to that the fire spreading over materials and uh, how it is controlled that is the second aspect which you will see then the burning rate of a material is very important continuing with that we have the fire extinguishing processes that is how to uh, first detect a fire then control a fire or suppress a fire and finally extinguish it without causing any damage to the people and structure so all these aspects will be covered in this course so the course contents have nine modules as listed in this particular chart first we will see about the basics of fires where nomenclatures definitions and important non dimensional numbers will be seen followed by that in the second module review of thermochemistry chemical equilibrium and kinetics that is thermodynamics of uh, related to fire will be covered how much air is required for burning a fuel what are the products of combustion given a temperature and pressure how fast a chemical reaction will occur these will be covered in this particular module this third fire is basically combinations of uh, different flames the flames are categorized as free mix flame and diffusion flames so we need to understand the features of premix flames and diffusion flames diffusion flames are also called non premix flames so the third module will give you a review of premix and diffusion flames fire is caused by several fuels gaseous fuels liquid fuels and solid fuels gaseous fuels is very simple to understand because for example if you consider a hydrogen gas mixed with air and it burns then the characteristics are very well defined and uh, there is no additional process involved in understanding this particular fire however if you have a liquid fuel or solid fuel another step comes in in the fire control that is the evaporation of liquid and the gasification of solid so in the fourth module we will see about the burning characteristics of liquid fuels okay how the liquid fuels are classified what are the important properties how it is ignited how the fire spreads over this <coughs> liquid fuel pool what are the factors controlling that etc will be seen in this solid fuel is more complex than the liquid fuel solid fuel is categorized into charring and non charring and uh, these two involve additional step like in evolving gas from the solid surface and this gaseous fuels evolved from the solid surface participate in the gaseous reactions so that will be seen in the fifth module then after the fire is initiated especially in an enclosure the hot gases rise up due to buoyancy force and uh, these gases will also have soot particles and uh, which will lead to smoke transport so the fire plume analysis is nothing but how the smoke is transported in a enclosure how it goes out how the air from the atmosphere comes into the enclosure etc similarly after the plume reaches the ceiling of the enclosure it spreads as ceiling jet so characteristics of ceiling jet will also be analyzed in the sixth module and important characteristics of an enclosure fire a fire occurring in a compartment or a confinement is much different from 
a fire which is occurring in a open space. So, the characteristics of an enclosure fire will be dealt in the seventh module. A fire has several scale. It can be as small as a room fire or as big as a forest fire. And uh, several other additional features also come into uh, fires in industries. For example, industries involving dusts, etc., like coal mines and organic dust from farmers' industries, etc., will have dust fires or dust deflagration and dust explosion problems also. An introduction will be given on dust flames and explosion and also forest fires in the 8th module. Finally, very important aspect is the fire safety aspects where how to detect a fire, how to suppress a fire and how to control a fire in uh, in a building or in any enclosure, how to do this without affecting human and structure. So, these are all the course contents we will be covering in this particular NPTEL course for 12 weeks. The 9 modules will be covered in 12 weeks. Each week we will have one assignment and uh, there will be a final exam after the 12 weeks are over. These are all the important textbooks which we will be using in the course. Thank you.